Hi, how are you, Christian? Very good. How are you? Christian, I'm from uh, Volkswagen uh, uh, here in Wolfsburg. And uh, so thank you very much for having us here. We're doing uh, this uh, tour about uh, in Wolfsburg uh, to test drive uh, the new Golf E mm -hmm. and the new Golf GTE. That's right. So these are the additions to the Golf family, which is pretty big already, right? Right. So how many models do you have for the Golf now? Well, for the Golf, there is uh, several gasoline engines for one. There is the diesel, which is also known by TDI. It is uh, the e-Golf now. It is the GTE in some markets, which is a plug-in electric hybrid, but a very powerful one with more than 200 horsepower. And uh, for certain markets, for instance, for Germany, we also have a CNG version and we also have ethanol versions for instance for Latin America or Brazil and those markets yeah. exactly so the Golf is the most uh, popular car in Volkswagen and probably in the history of the auto industry right because uh, 40 years and how many million of Golfs have sold it is uh, more than uh, 31 million that have <laughs> been uh, sold so far that's right yeah and there's always this dispute uh, dispute whether it's Corolla or it's Golf which is more important yeah put into account um, that uh, Corolla is sold as a hatch and as a sedan and in our case uh, it is also available as a sedan but that sedan is called Jetta right yeah, exactly and therefore but the, the Golf uh, as the Golf it's a uh, most popular right. Volkswagen group at least so, so Christian uh, um, thank you very much first for having us here and experiencing all the great things that happen around Wolfsburg. I mean, this is like really the house of Volkswagen, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually home of Volkswagen. This whole region has four different plants out of the 106 plants that we have worldwide. And uh, obviously the, the town of Wolfsburg, it's uh, 120,000 people? Yeah, about 125,000. Mm -hmm. And more than half work for Volkswagen. Yeah, and they're different yeah. in one and another way. We, we say at least, uh, even if you don't work for Volkswagen, you might have a friend or family member in the region <laughs> that works for Volkswagen, or one of its suppliers. I mean, it's also a lot of companies yeah, surrounding exactly. it. So a great uh, impact in many ways, more than economical and industrial, right? Like That's this right. is like the the heart and blood of, uh, of the region. It's the heartbeat of the region, that's right. Yeah. So now we came here mainly to, to visit the plants and to learn a lot about this car that we're driving, the Golf E and also the Golf, uh, let's see if we merge here, we, the Golf GTE. Mm -hmm. uh, so two new members of the Golf family. Right. Uh, watch, watch, uh, one is a battery electric vehicle, that's the one we're riding right now, and the other one is um, a plug-in hybrid it's a performance plug-in hybrid with 204 horsepower and it's called the golf gte yeah yeah so uh, volkswagen uh, the, didn't have an electric car purely electric car till now why, why was that decision uh, taken until this time well we wanted to make sure um, that we make the best product in the market um, at uh, the respective class i mean this is compact class so Consider in the United States, you can uh, lease an E up for two ninety nine per month. That is a very good offer in the market, and we were just awarded to have the uh, most uh, efficient car also in the market with an MPG equivalent of one hundred and sixteen miles. So for the for these two cars, there's a lot of technology that come from within the the Volkswagen Group, right? You get like the fuel cells. From a, a provider from Panasonic, I understand, and uh, the Samsung, no Sanyo for the E up. Yeah, it's actually that uh, Sanyo has been purchased, or has been bought, uh, taken over by Panasonic. Oh, okay, and, so it's uh, the same company. Therefore, it's the same company. It's the same cells uh, that we are uh, using. We also work with other suppliers. You you mentioned uh, Samsung that will be on the upcoming uh, Passat plug-in hybrid for Europe. So we, uh, of course purchase uh, parts uh, on the markets as other car makers uh, do as well but we also manufacture parts specifically to our needs for instance the electric engine that uh, drives both of us right now is from the castle plant uh, within the Volkswagen when you you create uh, you bring all those components then like a lot of internal technology and development we just visited the plant where you put together all those uh, fuel cells and create the, the battery pack for this car. The, the battery cells are being packaged there by our own. The reason we do this uh, is we want to control the um, entire uh, 
manufacturing uh, process and manufacture also these batteries uh, completely to our needs. Um, being the Golf so popular around the world and that's the other reason that you put your electric uh, powertrain in this car so people who already know the Golf just get a different variant and like I already used to, to the fun part of it, the utilitarian part of it uh, so it's that, that's one of the other reasons. Yes, we, we raised the question why would somebody that is interested in switching to an electric car have to um, facilitate and have to get used to a different kind of vehicle uh, so why not why not make the vehicle which is one of the successful most successful in the world make an electric car and that's how we came up with the e-golf every panel every button that you touch here uh, can also be found in other vehicles so people don't have to get used to a different type of vehicle they just drive a golf it's only a different engine so the thing that, that they have to get used to is like the way trees drive. This is actually more fun, I think. Yeah, and uh, it is always about uh, likes and about beliefs. So for one customer, it might be diesel engine. For another, it might be all electric, which is a very smooth, very refined ride. And uh, we are currently traveling here at 65 uh, miles per hour and you can hardly hear any noise. There's no engine noise, there's hardly any wind noise, there's uh, very few noise from the tires. And therefore, um, this is very comfortable. I know we're here in the Autobahn. Mm -hmm. So is this part where we can go at whatever speed we want? Yes, uh, only the, the speed of this car is limited to 85 miles per hour. And that's just to save, to, to manage the battery, I guess, right? That, that is why, exactly. Yeah. What are the other uh, unique components of uh, this uh, electric uh, powertrain uh, for, from Volkswagen in these cars, in this one and the GTE? Well, uh, the electric uh, Golf is another version of the Golf line. So every unit, whether it's the electric control unit, whether it's the, the steering system, which must also work in a standstill, the brake system must also work in a standstill, the uh, uh, air conditioning must also work when the vehicle is, is not on, so you can actually preheat and pre-cool your, your vehicle. Those are all uh, functions which are specifically meant for the e-golf, but they have to fit in the same undercarriage. They have to fit in the same uh, chassis that the Golf uses, and that makes it so unique because then you can use uh, common parts from automobile uh, production for the remaining set of the vehicle, which saves uh, a lot of money and helps to maintain the price ratio. Okay. Uh, so with the battery pack that we just saw, how how they build it. Do we lose any cargo capacity in the car or, or space no. for the passengers? If you, if you look into the trunk of the vehicle, that's exactly your 350 liter Golf trunk that you know from your average uh, Golf as well. So there's no loss, and that's pretty amazing because other manufacturers actually sacrifice space to put this uh, technology in the cars. That's why I said uh, our, our uh, target was not to be the first in the market, but to be in the best in the market. So this is only being uh, built here for the rest of the world? This is only for now, for now uh, uh, built in, in Wolfsburg, um, but uh, it's, it is an MQB car. We can, of course, uh, extend the manufacturing also uh, to other places worldwide. Can you talk a little bit more about the, the, the platform that this is built? Because that's a new strategy for growth for Volkswagen, right? Exactly. This is uh, built on not a platform, but actually uh, it on a on a matrix. So we invented uh, a common toolkit for any uh, of our uh, vehicles, regardless the size, that have uh, a transverse mounted engine, and that is called MQB, which stands for Modular Querbaukasten. So. This metric allows us to make a Polo, to make a Golf, or to make a Passat and reuse uh, those units. That saves money, um, not just in uh, development, but also in production. 
and therefore uh, helps to maintain uh, the good price ratio, uh, price value ratio. Yeah. And also, this uh, platform is used for the other brands doing that within the uh, Volkswagen Group. Correct. That's uh, also been used for Audi, uh, for instance. Even though Audi uh, also uses a lot of individual parts, there's still a common uh, set of modules that can be shared between the brands. Yeah. So the, these new um, cars, where are they going to be sold? In Europe and US initially, or what's the plan with that? Yes, and uh, also the mega cities in China uh, and uh, throughout Asia are interested more and more into electric cars. Uh, so that is also one of our growing markets. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time, for sharing the road. And uh, here we are in the Autostadt. And, uh, even though sometimes we want to go faster, mm -hmm. and this one is limited to that, it's really enjoyable. I mean, you are right. Like the, the ride is really comfortable, quiet, mm -hmm. and uh, actually it's fun. And, and one more thing uh, before we go: there are different modes to drive this car, right? right. So if you mm -hmm. can do like a little bit like a more control into yeah. control of the performance. Mm -hmm. If if you uh, take the foot off the accelerator in a normal mode, the car will just uh, be going without any. Uh, uh, rolling resistance apart from uh, the, the electrical engine being engaged but um, if you put it into into brake mode and you also take the foot off the accelerator uh, the car would start recuperation immediately so it's depending on what people are used to be driving the car can do both okay so now I'm in recuperation one there or oh, level two right there's three levels even uh, which makes essentially uh, which makes especially sense when going downhill because then you would put it in the uh, hardest mode of recuperation and you gain back a lot of electrical energy in the moment when you're going downhill oh. and also uh, the car has one system that teaches you or like gives you tips on how to be more efficient and recuperate energy yeah that's right uh, because if you're coming from a from a different car uh, somebody might be in, might be an expert on uh, how to drive super efficiently, but if you are not, then uh, the the trainer is actually a good method to learn how to get more miles out of your fuel. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, and we're going back to the Autostadt, uh, one of my favorite places in the world. Actually, <laughs> I love that place, and we spent uh, one day here. I wish we could stay like a month because there's so much to see there. Oh, well, come back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.